and of course to shed more light to talk about uh, the newly invited players to the Super Eagles of Nigeria is a seasoned sports journalist one of course who knows uh, Nathan Teller very well he joins us all the way from Bilbao in Spain Omar Katumba is live with us this evening good evening to you welcome to Game On Good evening, um, Itoa. Great to be on, on Game On tonight. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, Nathan Teller, we had, of course, I know you uh, did spoke about it uh, some weeks ago, and now it is now clear that he will be part of the Super Eagles. What does this mean for Nigeria? Uh, I mean, I, I think that it's a, it's a good addition to the national team uh, because of the way he plays. He's an attacking um, player plays on the right wing, can play also as an attacking midfielder. You know that the Super Eagles have been lacking that creative midfielder in, a, in, in, the, in the last couple of years. And of course, on the flank, we've not had the player that is as direct as Nathan in a long while. I think that it was the, what, that is what he will bring to the team, directness and the um, ability to also help the attack and also score goals himself. He had a very fantastic spell at Southampton we saw him earn um, a contract at Bayer Leverkusen, where he's also doing a great job, and the team is, is flying or uh, beating in over 16 games. And of course, with his fellow Nigerian, Victor Boniface, I think that he's, he's had a very good start to life at Bayer Leverkusen. And of course, a good call to the Super Eagles. Like he mentioned in an interview with me, uh, I think two or three weeks ago, uh, that he made it clear that he wanted to represent Nigeria, and here we are, he's gotten his first call-up. It's a good addition, I, I would say. All right, now let, let's look at uh, the player's development and also his career. He has decided to play for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. How would this move affect his career? Um, it remains to be seen. <laughs> it might affect it negatively. It might affect it positively. It all depends on what the Super Eagles achieve. You understand? Because if a national team does well, it trickles down and affects positively the career of the players. Look at Argentina. Before the World Cup, not many people knew Macalista. But after the World Cup, he became quite known because of his uh, good display at the World Cup. And now he plays for Liverpool. That's the reward for being part of, of, of a, a decent national team. Uh, the Nigerian national team right now is in a difficult, you know, state and doesn't really inspire so much confidence. So we hope to see if he would bring some, some, some sort of, uh, if, he would, if he would bring his, his skills and also help to move the Super Eagles to the next level, to also help the Super Eagles to gain much support from Nigeria, because the reason Nigerians have been very you know, um, apathetic to the Super Eagles of late is because of the poor results and the poor display that it churned out in the last couple of months or years. So with players like Nathan, I hope that there will be some sort of uh, change and that in turn will bring a result that will mean that Nigerians will start to follow the Super Eagles again. If that happens, it will affect his career also positively. But if it doesn't go that way, of course, that might some way affected because you also know that representing Nigeria is very special because <laughs> there's a lot of things that he would not be aware of or he's not used to that he might get used to the moment he starts playing for Nigeria. We'll not go into all of that. We all yeah, know right. it. I hope that he's prepared for it and I hope that he adapts as fast as possible. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, talking about adaptation, we know that he's an attacking midfielder. He could also play from the flanks. Now, looking at the Super yes. Eagles setup, where would you think, or which position do you think he would be uh, best in terms of uh, playing in a Super Eagle setup? I think playing on the flanks will make a lot of sense. Uh, Samuel Chico is a, um, somehow would need a bit of push, would need a bit of competition. Um, he hasn't been spectacular for Nigeria, you know, over a long period of time. So having a player like Nathan, who is quite different, Nathan is more direct. He goes straight to the point without any beating around the bush. And I think that is something that will require in the Super Eagles of Nigeria, directness. That is key for what we want to achieve going forward. And his crosses are quite good. Of course, no surprises. He grew up in England. He's enjoyed football development in England, where it is more or less a science. 
when players get developed by England, they have all the techniques, you know, their football is tidy, their understanding of the game is always top notch. Look at players like Alex, he will be in the Super Eagles in terms of ball passing, he's one of the best, you know, because of his development, his upbringing as someone who grew up in England. So I think that Nathan is also that type of a person because obviously he must have also benefited from the, you know, quality footballing environment that England offers. So that is something that he will bring to the Super Eagles. And like I said, going forward, we'll have some sort of directness and that is critical in the, in, in, in the national team of Nigeria. All right, uh, well said. And uh, looking at the Nations Cup in, tw in 20 2023 Nations Cup in 2024, uh, with uh, Nathan's addition, do you think or how close is the Super Eagles towards winning the trophy in Cote d'Ivoire? Uh, well, right now it doesn't look so good. Um, I haven't followed the Super Eagles in their last two friendly games in Portimao, in Portugal. It wasn't very impressive. It was a coach had to lament after the game. The second game, he was furious and he, he didn't even mince words, talking about how poor the team was, how they didn't take their chances, and how they generally weren't good enough. And the AFCON is barely two months, two or three months away, and I don't think that there's so much that can happen between now and then, knowing fully that international breaks are not so much. I don't think that after that, that after that, after this break, I'm not sure if there's any big international break before the AFCON. And that is a very huge, huge, huge problem. So mm -hmm. I hope that maybe on an individual level, our players will raise their level. Because at this point, you need players to show and rise to the occasion individually. Perhaps people like Boniface, people like um, Taiwo Awoli, people like Victor Simon, if he's fit then, would rise to the occasion and bring their quality that they show at club level to the fore to help Nigeria to achieve something reasonable. People like Victor and Moses Simon, people like Alex Iwobi, you know, players like um, um, Wilfred Indidi and the likes. Kelechi Eyal, I'm sure not to forget him. You know, these are quality players on their individual level. But now putting them together as a team has been difficult for the Super Eagles manager in terms of getting the required result and achieving the type of football that Nigerians would like to see. And I don't think there's enough time to really, you know, achieve that level of cohesion, understanding, team spirit, and team bonding that you need, you know, to be able to present a solid team at the African. But I think that's also the case for many African teams. So, which is a good alibi for Nigeria. <laughs> a lot of the African teams also have not been, you know, together. So, mm. they also might also have the same problems like we do. So, individually, players would need to rise up and, and show what they have got to offer. That's the only way we can stand a very good chance. Otherwise, I see a bleak, bleak outcome. All right. And uh, before I let you go, I did like to ask, we have lots of quality players scattered, you know, in different parts of the world. What do you think the NFF, uh, the Nigerian Football Federation, uh, needs to do to lure these players to play for the Super Eagles? Uh, go and tell them that they stand a better chance with Nigeria. Uh, because obviously, Honestly speaking, and a lot of the people who, who, who are in football know this, most people choose Nigeria when they see they don't stand any good chance of playing for the European nation. So you can use that as a bait. You can say to him and play with his psyche that, hey, listen, you can't play for Germany. You can't play for England. You can't play for France. You can't play for Spain. Come to Nigeria and you have a, 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 an express entry into the national team. And that's exactly the same thing I said to Noah Tobulu. I sent him a DM and I said, hey, brother, if you want to be the first choice goalkeeper of one of the biggest national teams in Africa right now, declare your availability to play for Nigeria and you'll be going to the AFCON as number one goalkeeper of Nigeria. He's not replied to me. I've tried to reach him. His club has blocked my, you know, my contact with him. They know my mission. I wanted to basically go and, you know, destroy his head and make him feel that Nigeria <laughs> gives him a better chance, which is true. Germany has got Kevin Trapp. Germany okay. has got Ke Ter Stegen. Germany has got a ripple of goalkeeper or red union of goalkeepers who are not even in, in, right. in the national team yet. So Noah's chances are slim with Germany, but absolutely high with Nigeria. So this is the approach. And they know it. 
to be honest. Because the last time I spoke with Fesario, he hinted at something like that. I told him about Noah Tobulu, and he said to me that if Noah had a chance to play for Germany, he would not want to play for Nigeria. Even the national team manager knows this. So anyone who pretends not to know this is either being dishonest or being naive. All right. Uh, well said. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Omar Akatuba, for your quality time. Uh, we can only hope that uh, the addition of Teller will boost the squad of, this, of the Super Eagles. And hopefully, we have a trophy parade come February in 2024. Thank you very much. Inshallah. All right. Uh, that was Omar Akatuba there. I know uh, dissecting and analyzing the latest uh, invited uh, players. I was talking about uh, you know, Nathan Teller to the Super Eagles of Nigeria. <laughs>